Hey, Tina Lorenz coming back today to tell you, so I want to answer a question that I got yesterday. So first of all, let me back up. I'm a freelance copywriting mentor, so I really like to talk about marketing and copy and what that means for you. But I'm also a mindset shifter and transformational business coach and consultant. And yesterday I did a two hour <laughs> live workshop where I talked about the three essential elements for really building success in your business online and also how you can get those high ticket clients easily as a freelance copywriter even if nobody's ever heard from you and what really I think kind of blew a few minds on it is how do you really take that into transformation and transcendence in your business for yourself and for those you serve and so today I want to answer one of the questions I got after the workshop because I stayed on for about half an hour answering questions live and I got some more questions today and one of them was like oh the technology what about the tech? I really don't like it. I don't know how to do it. Or maybe this is going to hold me back, right? So what I want to assure you about, if you're a freelance copywriter, marketing strategist, you don't have to do the tech. And this is something that comes up over and over again, the technology that drives all of these systems, that drives the software, that creates a marketing funnel. You don't have to do it. And even though I've mentioned this before, it really bears repeating because people kind of, a lot of times have this preconceived notion when we start talking about things like emails and the websites and the sales letters and the technology that runs all that, sometimes people are uh, thinking they're overly concerned that they might have to do something like that themselves, which you don't, unless you love it and want to. <laughs> That's not me. It doesn't have to be you. This is about understanding the strategy for how you write the copy and how that funnel works and the mindset that goes with it. But uh, in this particular case, uh, someone was concerned about, well, what about a website? I'm going to need one. Yeah, you're going to need a website, but you don't need one in the first five minutes, and you don't have to build it yourself. And so uh, there's ways that, things that we have in some of the programs I have for how you can do this quickly, uh, faster at any rate, than trying to build everything from scratch. And that's where funnels come into play, because funnels are kind of the new way, shall we say, to have what most people would call a website. It's just the structure of it is different than it used to be. It isn't someone has to write code and have some kind of secret passwords for every aspect of your pages. And if you want to add a page, it's going to take like, you know, three or four weeks while you find a developer to do that for you and, all, and the expense of it and the time involved. That's what's so great about funnels because you can easily have other pages created. Now, I say easily because I let somebody else do it also, but I also understand that it's, uh, really a pretty quick process to be able to do it and that's what's so great about the funnel now for you individually if you want to have this kind of a business as a freelance copywriter what I teach and I'm talking about it in the workshop that I did yesterday is a hack that will literally take you from uh, complete invisibility online if you don't have a website to a way that you can very quickly have an online presence that doesn't cost anything except very very small to, to be able to have your URL, your www dot, whatever your name is dot com, or whatever your business name is, and how you can t have that pointed at something that becomes your temporary website and also becomes a very important part of your marketing. So I really just want to assure you, this is not a problem, okay? Now sometimes, sometimes when we, um, we kind of march out the fear, the anxiety, sometimes it's actually kind of a wall that we've built that is not necessary to being able to accomplish what you want to be able to do and is actually kind of keeping you in a little safe zone of thinking, well, I can't do it because of dot, 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 you know, fill in the blank, whatever that thing might be for you. So I really want to encourage you that if you're feeling drawn to do something like this and have your online business or become a freelance copywriter, don't let the little uh, pebbles along the way, the things that become that kind of look like boulders or stumbling blocks to you, don't let those be the things that stop you. Because often we kind of fall back into our fallback position of, well, I've always been, just like I'll say, I've never liked tech, okay? But you have to be able to reframe that in a way that even though that's not in my comfort zone, I know I can get help with that. Even though I'm concerned about that, I know that's not the main focus here. Because that's just a small part of the picture, very small part of the picture of what you do when you become a freelance copywriter and serve at a higher level by going um, in incorporating both the spiritual aspect and the mindset aspect in everything you do in your business. So one of the uh, of many comments that I got yesterday about the live workshop was, you know, a lot of times when I go on one of these webinars or workshop, it's just kind of a sales pitch from start to finish, and it's really just about that, right? And maybe there was like five or ten minutes of learning something. But the comments I got were this was a complete reverse, complete reverse, because I spent a solid 
two hours teaching, teaching the framework of how I approach freelance copywriting, how I teach it, and how my students are achieving levels like uh, some of them are doing very, very um, robust four-figure months already, very soon into the program. Uh, and, th and this is part-time. They're working part-time. And so how do they do that? Well, what they tell me and what, what, they, what they share is that it's because of all the aspects, the whole construction of how I teach this. It isn't just, hey, here's how you write a headline. Here's how you write some bullet points. Let's write some emails today. Yes, we're going to do that. But there's so much more to it that becomes really, truly transformational, not only for yourself, but for your clients. And when you uh, go to the transformational place, the next level is transcendence. And that's something pretty special and pretty spectacular to experience both for yourself and those you serve. So I'd like to invite you, if you didn't have a chance to watch the, uh, attend the workshop yesterday and you'd still like to do it, I am leaving the replay of it on the page uh, until Monday. And so there is a little application. I'm gonna put the link in here after I'm done here. And just so we have some contact information for you and also just a couple questions, make sure it is a good fit for you for us to spend that time together and that it's, it's something that you feel ready for as far as that next level of learning. And so uh, I'm going to put the link here. If you'd still like to attend the replay, you can watch it at your leisure. And uh, there's more information on the page about what I was teaching as well. I think you'll find it really thought provoking. And um, it was so much fun doing it. I got to say, speaking of technology, see, this was one of those moments for me because that could have been a stopping place for me because um, I do Facebook Lives and I do Zoom calls and I do trainings. But I, honestly, I had not done this kind of a presentation because I had keynote slides, right? And it was like, they're beautifully designed. My designer, Cindy, just does a beautiful job on my content took all my ideas and took my webinar script, made it into this fantastic uh, slide deck for me. But I was gonna do it live and I'm doing it in Zoom, right? And I, I was just kind of like, that was really, I was having a hard time getting my mind wrapped around how do I do that and advance the slides and keep, you know, coordinate everything and be able to just talk to my audience and teach what's on these slides. And I had my moments with that over the past couple of weeks when I was thinking about doing this. So, ooh, I don't know if I can do that. Because it seemed like everyone I asked was like, well, I don't usually use Keynote or I haven't done it in Zoom or I'm not quite sure about this. Everybody had kind of a different idea. So I basically had to take some of those ideas, but then sit down and really just experiment. So, so here's some tips if you're faced with something like this. I chose to take that, what, what some might call fear, right? that anxiety, uh, I definitely would call it that. I chose to choose to change that, if I can talk, I chose to change that into excitement, into anticipation, to tell myself that instead of, oh, I'm scared, oh, what if I can't do it? Oh. Instead I said, it's all gonna work out, this is gonna be great, and I was truly excited to share this information, to teach this to the people that are coming to the workshop. I put the focus on those that were going to learn this. I, I pictured the people listening to it just going, oh my gosh, I have never heard anything like this. This is amazing. And I focused on that. I focused on the experience it was gonna be for those coming to the workshop. I chose to think it in terms of success. I chose to tell myself, this isn't brain surgery. Even if we have a fumble, even if I make a mistake, it's okay because this is real, it's live. I'm a real person, not some um, perfect robot of an individual. And everyone will understand, everyone will understand. And as long as I just go at it with the right attitude and the right mindset and intention for those that were participating. And I'm just, so pleased at how it came out. As a matter of fact, in the middle, I had a little moment with a slide. I was so caught up in what I was uh, talking about, about that particular concept, that when I looked at the slides for a minute, I was like, oh my gosh, I can't remember if I need to go forward or backwards or where I am. And so I had a moment, whoop, you know, and I just laughed it off and said, hey, you know, here we go, working without a net. And we just kept right on going. Nobody, obviously nobody minded, right? And I kind of gave myself grace on that. So that's okay, that's okay. So. The, the thing is, what I felt afterwards, first of all, just the complete happiness and joy for the response that was coming from the, those on the call of what it meant to them and, and the kind of insights that they had and the breakthroughs they had in their thinking about what was possible. But also, darn, I was proud of myself, okay? <laughs> like, yay, yay me, you know? Because this is something that was not necessarily easy for me with the technology. But when you take it in the little steps and you just decide to challenge yourself to show up and do the thing you do, whatever your expertise is, it'll all work out. It really will. 
things can be cleaned up. You can do it, you know, another way the next time, whatever. But if you just show up and and share your message, what I find with uh, people that are interested in my program, a lot of times they tell me their story. They tell me things that they've been through in their life, and and so many inspiring and and fun and touching stories that are coming from the people that come into my programs. And what I want to encourage you about is that everything, everything in your life, all the things leading up to this moment where you decide where you're going to, you're going to do this thing. You know, there's another way you're supposed to show up. You know, there's something else you need to do. And all of it comes together. It all comes together into this beautiful package that is you and that no one else has. No one else can can do what you do. No one else has your story. No one else can touch a certain part of their audience and in their in their message and and how they connect the way you can. And there's someone out there waiting just for that. Someone out there waiting to hear the way you say it, to hear your voice, to hear your values, to hear your heart and your soul. And it all can happen through a freelance copywriting business when you take it to that next level when you look beyond the obvious if that sounds good to you and you're, you're kind of tired of the programs that are just okay everybody here it is write a headline there's your email um, that's what an opt-in looks like goodbye good luck we wish you the best you know if, if you're looking for something more than that more than just the rote learning the mechanics of it um, if you feel like you deserve more than that and that you think there's something more to how you could run a business like this you know what? You're right. And so uh, I encourage you to sign up to come to the, the replay and you can watch from my fumble kind of right in the middle. <laughs> oh, and there's one more thing. Oh, I couldn't believe this. See, this is this is the thing. I put this together very quickly. My team was just, you know, we just said we're doing this thing. It's going to happen pretty quickly. I wrote a 58 page webinar script in a week. I wrote a 67 page, I think it was sales letter in the same week. I wrote 20 pages of emails in the same week. <laughs> this is all since October 1st. Plus doing uh, three hours of live coaching, plus doing Facebook Lives every day, doing some live streams where I was teaching from 30 to 60 minutes on my Facebook page. Did it all in a week. How did I do that? How did I do that? Because I'm just a mere mortal, right? And the things that I teach in this program help you to be able to be more productive in this way. It helps you to kind of flex that muscle that teaches you how to get your message across faster, how to know where you're going with it, how to have the clarity for it. But the thing I did in all of that, I forgot one super important aspect of, of what I'm doing in this training. And that is in my program, my mentoring program, Accelerated Entrepreneur, you can become certified. You, you get your certification in this particular type of copywriting. And I completely forgot to say that in my, the copy that I wrote. And I was just like, I can't even believe that. So this is what can happen for your clients too. They're so close to what they do that they can kind of overlook things sometimes, or it's just so familiar to them that they might forget or gloss it over or leave it out. And that's part of our jobs as freelance copywriters and marketing strategists. Only this time I had to do it for myself and say, Hey, you forgot something. So we're going to fix that. It's not the end of the world. I actually laughed at it because I was like, oh, that's that's really good. <laughs> you, know, you forgot one of the main points of, of one of the really special aspects of what you do here. So, so, But I did mention it in the workshop. You can listen for that too because I did mention it. So, Because I suddenly realized that while I was talking that that just kind of that little light bulb went on. So anyway, I hope this is helpful to you today. If you have those kind of like little moments of anxiety, moments of thinking, oh, I can't do the thing. Well, how you start changing how you're thinking Change how you're thinking about it. Change that message you're giving to yourself. Shift the focus from a smaller thing that really isn't the big thing in the scheme of things. Like, what if I have to have a website, right? Well, what if you have to have a website so that you can do the projects that bring in $8,000 at, at a time? What if you need a website so you can get paid in advance and book out clients ahead of time like my student, uh, like many of my students do? What if you could do that? What if you could do that? Alice Kreider is what I was trying to say. My brain got tied in a knot there for a second. But like Alice, last time I talked to her, Alice is booked all the way to the end of the year for copywriting. So what if you needed a website so you could continue to do those things? Does that then put the website in a different perspective? Does that then put, if you have to make some kind of an investment to have someone help you put that website together, does that offset that when you think of what we call a return on investment. When you have that website that can work for you over and over and over again, 
like a nice little cash machine for you because this is how people will find you. This is how they'll see how you write. This is how you'll start connecting with them. What is that return on investment for having that, that website? So instead of focusing on this one part of the picture, this one's actually in the mechanics of it, kind of a small part of the picture, and instead you focus on the greater picture, the, the higher elevation picture of what's going to happen with you, with this knowledge, with these skills that you um, acquire, with the things that you learn how to do and the way you learn how to connect with those clients so that you get paid those fees in advance. And believe me, for a funnel, an $8,000 copywriting fee for, for a, writing all aspects of a funnel, that's actually more like entry level because of all the, all the pieces that there are and what the potential is of what it makes for your client. When the client has a funnel that's, that's working well and you've written all the copy for it and they put that funnel in, in on live, right? It's starting to work so they're getting the opt-in, they're having people see the sales letter, they're connecting through the emails that you wrote. It is not unusual for someone with a, a, a well-functioning funnel, marketing funnel, the, the marketers bringing in anywhere from, it could be 10000 to $100,000 a month that they're doing from their funnel, right? So that makes, same as I'm talking about, about building a website, same thing for them, the investment in having a copywriter who knows how to do this and makes this all happen for them with a copy while they take care of the technology of that with their team or, or whoever they outsource that to, and they can start reaching their audience, making a bigger impact, and creating that kind of revenue for themselves month after month, that makes your piece of that puzzle kind of a no-brainer. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, well, that's just the investment I make so that I can do all the rest. Same with having a website when you're a freelance copywriter and a marketing strategist. So you don't have to have it right away, though. I didn't have a website for months when I first started. I just connected in other ways, and I teach that, too. So. Uh, I hope that helps you kind of put things in perspective if you're feeling those moments of anxiety and instead feel, turn that into the excitement and the exhilaration of what is possible for you, of what happens when you break through those barriers, of what happens when you really seize the day and take control of your future the way you want to create it. And you become that co-creator of your future because of the way you think, because of your spiritual connection, because of the skills and uh, strategies and tactics you have, and because of the support you can have while you're learning how to do all of those things. When you focus on that instead of the little, should we call it a gnat, <laughs> you know, the little buzzy gnat in your ear, like, you know, that's distracting you from the real purpose of what you want to do, just shift that story, stay focused on what you really want to achieve, and trust that the rest will fall into place. It's sometimes it's the what, not the how, right? The what you want and where you want to go with it the how will take care of itself when you step out in power and keep your mindset clear and flex that uh, thinking that you're doing and think differently when, it, when you're thinking things that are taking you away, deflecting you, stopping you, repelling people from coming and connecting with you. When you start turning that around, all the other things start falling into place. They really do. So if you'd like to hear more about this, sign up for my workshop. It's, it's recorded now. I did it live yesterday, but it's all there for you. And I will put the link here on this page so you can find it. And I hope that it helps you. And I'd love to hear from you after you watch it. So that's it for now. Take care. I'm going to find my little button. And away we go till next time.